Hey everybody, my name is Lowell and welcome to the channel. So we're jumping back into Epic the Musical. This is going to be the Underworld Saga. So it's going to be the three. It's going to be the Underworld, No Longer You and Monster. Let's jump into the first one. Friends, Cersei's instructions were clear. No matter what we hear, full speed ahead until we Hi. find the prophet. My comrades, this line confuses your mind. So no matter who we find, full speed ahead until we find the prophet. Good. Yeah, you can imagine sailing with a ship into the underworld you know that change you know you can already hear those swelling of ghosts and souls in the background uh, you just come off oceanus into this underworld it's getting it's getting serious it's getting serious i like it okay you can hear the creaking of the sheep as well to obviously let you know you're still on this uh this one ship that he's got left uh all right let's continue Damn, they're really bringing that up okay so they've obviously mentioned a couple of the last songs you know full steam ahead you know when does a man become a monster uh they've already mentioned all the men they've lost in the last saga okay okay as he said you know your past is close behind in the underworld it likes to remind you of all the deeds you've done all right let's uh let's continue Captain. Oh my god, they're still bringing that up. Okay, okay, everything is coming up. Everything is done. All those deeds he's already done in this saga already. Coming back to slap him in the face. Why would you leave the Cyclops alive? Okay, okay. Screams. Every time I dare to close my eyes. from that night oh come on seriously everything everything that poor that poor child right in the first song that we ever did um okay everything is coming up this life is amazing oh. when You forget how uplifting his part in that song was. Greet the world with open arms. Oh. Oh, jeez. Oh. That voice. It can't be. Uh. Oh, no. Mom? Ah. Uh. Oh. 
I took too long. Oh, oh my God. So, in the original, we're going to go back a little bit because that is uh, quite emotional. In the original poem, when he leaves in the Iliad, his mother is still alive. He doesn't know that she's passed. The only, you know, this is the first time that he knows that um, obviously she's in the underworld. She's actually passed. So in the in the poem, you know, he asked her, what happened? What happened? What? How did you die? And she basically tells him, because I was waiting for you, you didn't come back. I died from a broken heart. Damn. Damn it. Oh, God. God, okay. Ooh, hi, Mom. All I hear are screams. All I hear are screams. Every time I dare to close my eyes, I no longer dream. I no longer dream. All the nightmares of those who have died. Nothing's what it seems. Nothing's what it seems. But in the underworld, your past is always close behind. Your past is always close behind. Ah, oh. I tell you that that one was uh that was emotional, that was emotional. So, you know, when he first arrives in the underworld, he actually sees one of his um shipmates that actually died um in Circe's island. You know, he was drunk on the roof, got up in the morning, they were leaving to go, fell off the roof, broke his neck, meets him in the underworld, um. Then obviously, you know, speaking to his uh, mother. Whew, that was a tough one. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. Um, man, to see your mother for the first time in 10 or so years in the underworld and she tells you, you know, I was waiting for you. You didn't come back. My, I died basically from a broken heart because you didn't come back. It's like... Seriously. Ah, oh, okay. Let's um. So that was a good one. Obviously, a lot of stuff being brought up in this underworld. You know, as you would expect. You know, it's a place where all your deeds are laid out, and you know, um, come back to basically haunt you. So let's continue. Um, let's continue. Let's do the next one. Oh man, that one. That was emotional. I am the prophet with the answers you seek Time, I've unlocked it I see past and future running free There is a world where I help you get home But Is Tiresias and Odysseus the same voice? Very similar Maybe they are. Let me know. I, I'm not too sure who does the voices, but um, 
I like I like his tone. I like his tone. Um He's very calm, even though he's telling you I can see, you know, everything. That's not a world I know. What? I oh, whoa, whoa. There is a world where I help you get home. But that's not a world I know. Wait, what do you mean what? that's not a world you know? I see a song of past romance I see the sacrifice of man I see portrayals of betrayal And a brother's final stand I see you on the brink of death I see you try a final breath I see a man who gets to make it home alive But it's no longer That's okay. Okay. That's no longer you. Is that because you're not the same? And you as your who you were before is not getting home. It's going to be somebody different. Interesting. I see the sacrifice of a man. Remember he said, I'm just a man. Okay. Um, interesting. The betrayal of a brother. Huh? I mean, you could read that in different ways, couldn't you? You know, that whole, um, you know, past romance, sacrifice of a brother. Um, I mean, I guess that could be explaining his journey already you know um i guess you really kiss could be the brother that you know uh betrayal but it could also be um explaining the iliad as well you know if we go back even further uh but there's definitely parallels there okay okay this can't be We've suffered and sailed through the toughest of hells. Now you tell us our efforts for nothing. Okay. I see your palace covered oh. in red. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, about that. About um your palace, mate. You may you may need to get home and check that out. Men who had long believed your death. With a man who is haunting A oh. man with a trail of bodies Ooh. I see Ooh. us <laughs> Whoa, okay This is an interesting lyrics Okay, so obviously in the poem, original You know, he has, I think it's a 108 suitors in his palace, trying to get hold of his um, assets and property and basically his wife as well. But, you know, she's holding fast. It's like, yeah, nah, I'm not entertaining any of that. Uh, you can stay here because I'm polite, but it ain't going any further. Um, a man who is haunting with a trail of bodies. Maybe that's the ghost of Odysseus. He does have a bit of a trail of bodies at the moment, but uh, obviously he's been fighting war for 10 years as well. Interesting. I see your palace covered in red Faces of men who had long believed you're dead I see your wife with a man who is haunting a man with a trail of bodies. Ooh! I wonder if he means Odysseus, like as when he got home, you know, because he might, because he's going to arrive as a different person, somebody who is haunted for all the deeds that he's had to do to get home. Um, oh, 
Okay, that's interesting. I see that's a song of past romance. I see the sacrifice of man. I see portrayals of betrayal and a brother's final stand. I see you on the brink of death. I see you try your final breath. I see a man who gets to make it all alive. But it's no longer you. in that that orchestra oh my god you know this premonition this uh prophecy and you've got this huge orchestra in the background you know the drama of it of course you can imagine odysseus is sitting there thinking wait what are you talking about it's no longer me what are you talking about my palace what are you talking about uh he's trying to wrap his head around what are you what are you talking about you're talking in riddles um okay so he's obviously he's gone through you know uh actually in the the poem he actually speaks to uh the prophet first and then his his uh mother but anyway in this he's already spoken to his mother uh so he's obviously emotional about that and then he has this this um revelation thrown on him that you know his palace is no longer safe and he's you know, he has been away for 10 years, you know, 10, 12 years, whatever it is at this stage, um, 11 years or whatever. Um, of course, people are going to move into his palace. You know, of course, people are going to think, well, he's he's dead, isn't he? You know, he's been 10 years. He's been at war for 10 years. Of course, he's not coming back. Um, okay, let's move on to the next one. Monster. How has everything been turned against us? How did suffering become so endless? How am I to reunite with my estranged? Do I need to change? Oh. I'm surrounded by the souls of those I've lost. Oh, I'm the only one whose line I haven't crossed What if the greatest threat we'll find across the sea Is me What if I'm the monster? What if I'm in the wrong? What if I'm the problem that's been hiding all along? What if I'm the one who killed you Every time I gave to guilt what if I've been far too kind to foes, but a monster to ourselves? Oh! Oh, okay. What if I'm the monster? Is the Cyclops struck with guilt when he kills? Is he up in the middle of the night? Or does he end my men to avenge his friend and then sleep knowing he has done him right? When the witch turns men to pigs to protect her nymphs, is she going insane? Ooh. Or did she learn to be colder when she got older and now she saves them the pain? When a god comes down and makes the fleet drown, is he scared that he's doing something wrong? Or does he keep us in check so we must respect him and now no one dares to piss him off? Does a soldier use a wooden horse to kill sleeping Trojans cause he is vile? Or does he throw away his remorse and save more lives with God? If I became the monster and threw that guilt away Would that make us stronger? Would it keep our foes at bay? If I became the monster to everyone but us And made sure we got home again if we're unjust If I became the Okay, so now he's thinking You know what? You know what? Maybe I was wrong Maybe I need to become this monster Maybe I need to Cross that line As he said The only line he didn't cross was me Maybe I need to If I do this 
maybe my shipmates will survive. Maybe I, I wouldn't have lost 500 and so men. Maybe I do need to become that monster. Maybe, you know, Athena was right. Okay. Oh, ruthlessness is mercy upon us. Oh, yes. Okay. And deep down, I know this well. I lost my best friend. I lost my mentor. My mom. 500 men gone. This can't go on. I must get to see Penelope and Telemachus. So if we must sail through dangerous oceans and beaches, I'll Ooh. go where Poseidon won't reach us. And if I gotta drop another infant from a wall in an instant so we oh. all don't die. Okay, you know what? We're going to do this whole one again cuz this is a this is a big one. This is one where he looks at a true look at himself and say, "You know what? Maybe I do need to become this monster. I'll chuck another baby off the wall. Who cares? If it gets us home." Okay. I mean, you wanted the monster. Be careful what you wish for. Okay, let's listen to this one again. This one is brilliant. How has everything been turned against us? That realization. How did suffering become so endless? So calm about it. How am I to reunite with my estranged? Do I need to change? I'm surrounded by the souls of those I've lost. I'm the only one whose line I haven't crossed What if the greatest threat we'll find across the sea Is me Ooh. What if I'm the monster? What if I'm in the wrong? What if I'm the problem that's been hiding all along? What if I'm the one who killed you Every time I oh. gave to guilt what if I've been far too kind to foes, but a monster to ourselves? What if I'm the monster? Is the Cyclops struck with guilt when he kills? Is he up in the middle of the night? Or does he end my men to avenge his friend and then sleep knowing he has done him right? When the witch turns men to pigs to protect her nymphs, is she going insane? Or did she learn to be colder when she got older and now she saves them the pain? When a god comes down and makes the fleet drown, is he scared that he's doing something wrong? Or does he keep us in check so we must respect him and now no one dares to piss him off? Does a soldier use a wooden horse to kill sleeping Trojans cause he is vile? Or does he throw away his remorse and save more lives with guile? If I became the monster, Threw that guilt away Would that make us stronger? Would it keep our foes at bay? If I became the monster To everyone but us And made sure we got home again Who would care if we're unjust? If I became the Oh, ruthlessness is mercy upon ourselves And deep down I know this well I lost my best friend, I lost my mentor, my mom, 500 men gone, this can't go on, I must get to see Penelope and Telemachus, so if we must sail through dangerous oceans and beaches, I'll go where Poseidon won't reach us, and if I gotta drop another infant from a wall in an instant so we all don't die, Ooh. then I'll become the monster.
that was a brilliant one. That was a brilliant one. That was an emotional roller coaster. Those uh, that saga. Um, wow. Oh my god, that last bit. That last bit where that almost resigning himself to the fact that to get home to see his wife and child is going to have to become something he doesn't want to. You know, he'll become the monster. He's been putting it off and putting it off and telling people, no, I'm not. Uh, I am, you know, merciful and all that kind of stuff. And it's kind of backfired on him. Um, you know, there's some lines there that Poseidon you know, has used against him. He's using that now. You know, he's realizing that deep down he knows he's got to do this. Whew. Oh, my God. <laughs> from that emotion to from seeing his, uh, his dear mother in the underworld to, to know about his wife and child back home with the suitors and everything in his palace to that self-realization that, you know what, I've got to change. I've got to become this thing that... It's going to get us home, you know. Maybe the thing that people need to fear out here is me. This is it. I'm the monster. Oh, that's a cool one. That's a good one. That's a real good one. I loved it. I loved it. I loved the use of the orchestra to build that drama. Um, and when he started that realisation, it started off so calm as well. You know, just the guitar, just his vocal. And then, you know, as it went on, it got, you know stronger and stronger and stronger and then you all out i'll become the monster oh loved it loved it um that was a excellent one excellent underworld um looking forward to that one did not disappoint at all um loved it absolutely loved it so let me know let me know that was a ride i tell you that was a ride Whew, that was emotional that was emotional um I've read the, the Odyssey, you know, numerous times, but to hear his mother sing, waiting, oh, that really hit me. Really hit me. Oh, my God. Ooh, that really hit me in the emotions, I tell you. Ooh. Um, yeah, that was, that was a tough bit to get through, um, but they did it so well, so well. Um, yeah, that was excellent. Excellent saga. Excellent, excellent saga. So we'll be back again next week, guys. Let me know what you thought of that one. Thank you very much for joining me today. Make sure you stay safe. And I'll definitely see you in the next reaction video. Did you enjoy that video? Why not watch another one?